Hello, my name is Atta Tara, lecturer in landscape architecture at RMIT University, and I'm presenting on behalf of a team of practitioners in landscape architecture and urban design in Queensland. This paper addresses contemporary issues facing many coastal towns and cities in Australia, which are located within sensitive landscape settings. We provide an innovative framework for assessing and defining building heights using skyline thresholds that respects the broader landscape values. I would like to start with referencing our last year publication in the Journal of Digital Landscape Architecture, which we studied the form and complexity of Visual Bowl as a 360-degree environment around an observer in Melbourne CBD. The visual bowl was conceptualized as a volume and modeled as two entities, including the bottom of bowl and the skyline cap, as the collection of sightlines from an observer to the surrounding visible skyline. The skyline cap or skyline threshold is a key indicator of the visual bowl and intrusions by vertical elements can dramatically change the visual environment and the experience. A project in a coastal town in southeast Queensland, city of Gold Coast, to assess the visual impact of urban form resulted in developing a new method to define non-intrusive building heights. The city occupies a uniquely attractive natural setting between the coastline and the interland mountains, but is also a vibrant and dynamic holiday destination whose character and international tourist image have evolved through constant change. The continuing challenges of info densification in Gold Coast, which are reflected in the recent building height overlay, pose threats to this attractive coastal setting and put them at risk of losing their distinctive landscape character and sense of place by ignoring the natural topography and allowing tall buildings to overpower distinctive views. This aspect is critical to Australia's indigenous relationships to the landscape where land, language and culture are interconnected. The Gold Coast is continually renewing its built form and it's likely to undergo a significant change involving increased density and height with the planned extension of light corridor in the southern part of the city. There are currently multiple view corridors to landscape features important to the character and scenic amenity of the city, which can be potentially interrupted by building height overlay. The broad scale nature of the city adds to the complexity of mapping potential impacts on view corridors. Various landscape studies have been undertaken for Gokos City Council in recent decades have identified timeless or long established aspects of its character that are important to the attractiveness. The landscape values study integrated the key outcomes of these studies and identified places and landscape features which require view protection as high landscape values, which includes areas such as forested hillsides, forested ridges, headlands and water, including stories and ocean. Protection of view corridors to manage city form and transformation has been a common approach in many cities around the world. A review of view corridor intrusion approaches to visual assessment and protection, such as the London View Management Framework, Edinburgh Design Guidance, and Portland Scenic Resources Protection Plan indicates a high degree of local specificity. None provided an appropriate off-the-shelf and objective method for defining building height thresholds to avoid view intrusion impacts. Consequently, a new approach has been presented in this paper following intensive trailing of various mapping and modeling approaches. This approach utilizes latest advances in urban skyline threshold using a skyline barrier GIS modeling techniques in ArcGIS, LiDAR data, and a virtual city model. Visual constraints that define the level of building height intrusions can vary from one locality to another. 
It can include distant views to an ocean horizon from elevated viewpoints or sightlines to landform ridgelines and headlands which form the visible skyline to an area. The closest ridge was selected as the main parameter for building height intrusions in Gold Coast, rather than a more distant ridge line because they are closer to the observer, appear green with some detail of visible vegetation, and they are more important to local character, scenic backdrop, and the district identity. A non-intrusive building height limit can be considered as a slightly below the identified skyline threshold. In this study, we considered 6 meters below the vegetated ridge line. This is an example of a skyline threshold modeling from a designated lookout and displays the engagement of view with the closest and distant ridge lines and headlands, which can be obscured by the building height overlay by intersecting the skyline threshold to the closest ridge with the building height overlay, the non-intrusive building height identified as shown in black line. A cumulative viewshed analysis modeling was undertaken from 16 citywide and local view corridors across the study area to identify the closest forested ridge lines can be seen from these locations. The field of view of view corridors was photographed and reported during the site visit to assist with skyline threshold modeling. The combined skyline threshold analysis was conducted from all view corridors to model non-intrusive building heights. Through the conversion of the skyline thresholds to raster elevations, and applying an overlay technique, the non-intrusive building heights were modeled for the study area, which is presented in 3D models, comparing the maximum building heights versus non-intrusive building heights, and also presented through photomontages from selected view corridors. And also combined in a non-intrusive building height map for integration in a city plan and amendments. This new urban design tool will assist architects, planners, and developers with identifying and mapping constraints as associated with views in order to define building height thresholds and city form. This is a demonstration of all modern skyline thresholds from selected view corridors to achieve a triangulation of views towards the height sensitive area. This method will facilitate site-sensitive urban design by enabling local authorities, developers, and architects to be more aware of site constraints so that they can design build form more appropriately. The Skyline Threshold tool can also be used to challenge height restriction on a site-by-site -site basis. This repeatable methodology is applicable to urban centers with views in several directions to multiple landscape beach features that are important to the character and scenic amenity and where such views are potentially at risk of being blocked by tall buildings.